Let's dig into the economics of part cost in additive manufacturing. As a customer looking at this, you really have to think about it total cost of ownership or total cost per part. And before we dig into the four main cost drivers, let's talk about how cost breaks down. There are three main cost categories. The first is pre-printing, the second is printing, and the third is post-printing cost or post-processing cost. 10% of the part cost has pre-printing cost. The actual printing cost is only 40% of the part cost, and it surprises a lot of people to find out that as much as 50% of the cost of the part can be after it's actually printed. Cost drivers are really important to understand when you get serious about high volume production and metal additive manufacturing. There are four main cost drivers, machine cost, material cost, labor cost, and secondary operations cost. And each one of these is different for different processes as you dig into them, but it's important to make sure that you calculate and understand what each cost is in each category. And that's something that's so exciting about 3DO and our technology because in every major cost driver, machine cost, material cost, labor cost, and secondary operations, we are driving the cost significantly lower versus uh, competitive technologies, which means for the first time in metal 3D printing, we can actually compete directly with conventional manufacturing like CNC machining and metal injection molding. When we talk about part cost in manufacturing, we have to talk about yield. And yield is one of those dirty little secrets in metal additive manufacturing that no one likes to talk about because all the metal additive manufacturing technologies today have very low yields. When you look at traditional manufacturing, they have very high yields in the mid 90s or even better with something like CNC machining or metal injection molding. And that's where 3DO's technology is very different than other metal additive manufacturing technologies. We have a very repeatable, very robust technology that is able to drive high yields. With metal additive manufacturing technologies today, it's not at all uncommon to see yields in 20% or 30% range. And if you're 20%, that means your material cost alone on that part, not to mention machine cost or secondary operations or labor or any of that other stuff, your material cost alone is gonna be five times more expensive than conventional manufacturing. And right there, you're not competitive with traditional manufacturing. So if you wanna compete in the traditional manufacturing markets, yield is such an important number, and that's really where 3DO shines.